what's up guys uh here we are again for another review video uh we are doing a review on the fp tank by blitz enterprises and what is it uh mark the vaping postman sorry i'm like brain fart right there all right so we're gonna take a quick look at it really up close uh you guys get to watch me build it real quick and all that kind of thing so yeah let's get into it All right, let's do this. Uh, let's see, one, two. All right, guys. So here it is, uh, the FP tank by Blitz Enterprises and TVP. Mark the vaping postman. This is the packaging it comes in. It's a nice uh, honking box. Not gonna lie. It has a color indicator. Some information about uh, Blitz and their kind of thing. You know, the warnings, which I still think is pointless in a device that doesn't have nicotine in it, but whatever. Uh, social media stuff and all that. All right, let's pop this sucker open. All right, and there it is, the FP tank in all its uh, glory. So, yeah, that's the tank. And then we're going to pop this out to show you what else comes in the packaging. You get your uh, little instruction booklet, which, you know, not too, not too terrible. Then you get, you know, bubble glass, uh, shorter glass, extra drip tip, which is, this is actually the one that comes stock on there. The frosted one comes in the packaging, just letting you know before you get yours, if you get it. Then uh, you get a baggie of extras, coils, you know, extra clamps, uh, you know, screwdriver, all that kind of thing, O-rings. So, you know, as always, it's just your standard, standard packaging nothing like too fancy and then underneath that i think there's nothing all right so as the packaging it's not very complicated very straight to the point and that kind of thing so let's move this out of the way and let's look at the fp tank right there you can see it has all that knurling right in the uh, chamber on the outside of the chamber that is supposed to help with uh, the wicking and stuff like that I don't know how factual that is to be bluntly honest I like I said this is I, I've used tanks before and this is just to me another tank check it this drip tip off no it's it's being a pain all right but anyway this is a uh, I'll show you guys around I'm gonna show you guys my little my new my new little doodad. It's a little stand that way. I'm not. I don't have my hands all in the way. But here's your fill ports. Chamber looks down the chamber. You guys can see the airflow all the way down there. Then you just take this off right here, simple as that. This pops out right there, and you can switch it out for any of the other uh, glasses that you saw in the packaging. Put this right here. And here is the, the deck itself. As you can tell, it's a clamp style. These come up. Pop your coils in here, pop your coils in here. There you go, wick it down this way. You can build this in a single or in a dual, and I'll show you how to do it in a dual. Single, I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's this way, this way, and it just flies across, but uh, I will say when you're doing a dual, try to do a two and a half millimeter instead of uh, three. I don't think two threes will fit in there perfectly. Then beyond that, you could pretty much like fill anything if you're trying to do a single I mean you could put some ridiculous builds in here and I have seen it done 
All right, so then this is your airflow, which comes up through here. This is your AFC control, as you can tell. It moves one way, moves the other way. Same goes for the other side. And all that kind of thing. It's a very straightforward tank. Uh, like I said, there's not much. Like, if you're expecting, like, something ridiculously new or something, it... I don't know, I'm just feeling like with a lot of like vape gear, we're getting to a point of things. Innovation is getting very far in between for the simple fact that a lot of innovation has already happened and the heyday for certain things have passed and other things are yet to come, but we will see what comes. I mean, seriously, it's very, I see it as a challenge to designers as to manufacturers and what they can come out with. All right, and just to show you guys, this is a DHD drip tip. The, the what is it called again? The, the chop top. Goes right on there. Fits perfectly fine. So it's 810 compatible. Personally, I like the, the frosted one because the other one, the Delrin one that comes with it, I don't know, I, I feel it's a little rough personally but that's just my my whole thing alrighty so right now what I'm gonna do is build this guy up and uh, I'll show you like really quickly how, how it gets built up and all that kind of thing and then we'll go up top and we will talk some pros and cons so yeah let's do this thing All right, guys so that was uh the build for this it has been about the biggest pain in the butt for some weird reason but yeah we'll come up top and we'll talk a little bit more about this guy yeah all right so yeah that was the um the FP, I do not, I'm too tired for this. Uh, yeah, so that was the FP tank by Blitz Enterprises up close and personal. So I've been trying it out. I know there's been some controversy and all that kind of thing behind it. I personally just don't care. I'm sorry. If you want to get passionate and stuff, that's fine. Go for it. I don't care. Just, uh, I was interested in the tank itself. I wanted to try it out and all that kind of thing. And I wanted to see if 
if it was worth its time it's a big mother like originally i actually wanted it for this for this mod actually that that was the original plan but then uh my good friend mr frames jenklin over at frames jenklin vapors go check him out on here on youtube sent me this guy and i mean that matchy matchy game was just dead set so i ended up getting a g class for it instead which it kind of worked out for me in the end uh but i will say this is a really nice tank uh uh, currently, I'm running it at, at a 0.15, 80 watts, and it's one of those weird ones where I can't run this too hot. Like, it loses flavor when I run it too hot. We'll say at certain settings, like if you're like at a half setting with the airflow, it tends to like get a little whistly. Like if, say, let's see if you could see that uh, right there. You see how it's not like ne to that next step all the way? At times it gets really weird and whistly. Okay, that time it didn't. Whatever. I was hoping that would be the time that it did. But sometimes it has like a bit of turbulence in the noise, not in the airflow itself, but in the noise, it just kind of makes a little bit more noise, like ex excessive noise than it needs to. But other than that, I, I all I can really, it's one of those weird ones where all I can really say it's a tank. Uh, most tanks are pretty standard. The build deck isn't really, it's it's got a bit of a difference going on, but all it really does is remind me of the uh, Pharaoh RDTA or even the Pharaoh RTA, the original Pharaoh, not the Pharaoh Mini. It's got basically the same concept except for you build opposite instead of uh, across. But other than that, it's basically the same concept in that. Uh, I know the knurling that goes down the side of the barrel a point of that is so it wicks better. It helps the juice draw down. I I don't know. It's one of those ruins of I could see what, what they're trying to get at with that. But then gravity kind of does that for you. And then at that point, it's more does, do your, does your cotton eat up the, the liquid itself? Because, I mean, that's really what it boils down to. What kind of cotton you got in there and does it do its job? A-10 compatible. So, hey. You don't have to deal with any other style of drip tips if you have like, you know, no proprietary drip tips. So you could actually just use whatever drip tips you have on hand. I will say for as bulky as it is, I wish the juice capacity was a bit more. But even then, it it's more like a kind of a bragging thing. I don't know. That's just kind of how I look at it. But overall, good flavor. I like how it vapes. I know you could do it in single coil and dual coil. Personally, I just feel that this should just be a dual coil in like my personal opinion kind of thing. But other than that, not really many complaints, not many things that I can really say other than I like the flavor. Can't run it too hot though. I don't know. It just to me, if I run it too hot, flavor kind of goes away. It's a cloud chucking machine. So I'll give you that much. I'm just trying to think of what else I can think of. Personally, I just it's one of those things of get it get it if you want to. They're not that expensive. It's a $35 atomizer. Like I think Vapor DNA still might have them in stock if you guys want to like go check it out. The bubble glass does add a little bit of uh juice capacity. I know that if you get it in like uh Europe or the UK you get the tank with the smaller glass and then you get you can buy separately um the other styles of glass the bubble glass or the taller glass but if you're getting it here in the states you just get all three glasses in one packaging so you know it's kind of one of those weird conveniences kind of thing so honestly i feel like i kind of pretty much said everything i needed to say in the top down don't really have many I didn't have many issues with it I did drop it a couple times and the glass seemed to have survived fingers crossed knock on wood that kind of thing because you never know but uh yeah so that was the uh FP tank and like I said all controversies aside if you want to get it do what you want I mean that that's just kind of what it boils down to so uh, thanks for joining me here for another uh, review video. I'll catch you guys next week. As always, uh, advocacy, stay on top of it. 
all the organizations, Casa.org, Not Blowing Smoke, I Quit Smoking by Vaping.com, and keep up with local, local and state and federal news when it comes to vaping and what the FDA is doing to us and this and that. Uh, on this week's vlog, I posted the 510 report links for both videos because he released the video right as I was uploading the video. So you guys can actually get it and put it on your, uh, you can actually go check it out. So on my vlog, if you look at the links and all that kind of thing, you could check out uh, Grim Green's 510 reports. He talks in depth on how the FDA and uh, Big Tobacco and Big Pharma and how money rolls through all those channels in our government and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, go check those out. Seriously, stay on top of that. And, you know, when it comes to advocacy, you don't have to do everything, but you at least have to do something. And thank you for joining me. Catch you guys next time. Monday's Vaping with the Omis. Wolf by radio show on Vape Radio. 7 a.m. on Saturday, Central Standard Time. 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays. And we do have the replays on SoundCloud. If you guys want to go through our back catalog and all that kind of thing, you're always welcome to. All right. So thank you guys. Catch you next time.